if you have caught up friends, family, colleagues, just to please a partner, you are not in a relationship, you are in slavery. Can I repeat myself? If you have caught up friends, colleagues, family members, just to please a partner, you are not in a relationship, you are in slavery. Because no one can enslave you unless they first isolate you. Don't talk to this. Don't talk to that. Don't talk to this. Don't talk to that. Don't relate with that. Avoid this. Avoid this. And there are some of you who are not married now. You are in a relationship with a young man or with a young lady. Why did you talk to this person? Why did you pick that call? Don't smile at this person. Don't talk to this one. Avoid this one. Why you talk to that one? And you are not even married. You are on your way to slavery. You are, you are repeating Egyptian bondage. What you are repeating is Egyptian bondage part two. Write this down. Happy is the person that has a true friend. But happier is the person whose true friend is their partner. Happy is the person who has a true friend. But happier is the person whose true friend is their partner. It's not love that keeps a marriage. It is friendship. Love can fail. It's friendship that stays. Unforgiving. There are many women, the only book they have in their head is history book. They don't have CROK. They don't have Physics is history. That was how five years ago. That was how two years ago. That was how, let it go. You're a pastor's wife, you are here. If because of your husband ever opens his mouth to say, I don't mind even if I leave ministry. If he says that, it comes out of your mouth. There's a curse on your head. If a man opens his mouth and says, I'm ready to leave this thing instead of you. Just know at that point, at that point, Heaven has turned against you. That you push a man to a point that what matters to him is ready to leave it just to leave you. So I don't care. I know they'll discipline me. I will stand it, but I'm... Ah, any man here that has been bewitched and anyone whose brother has been bewitched or anyone hearing the sound of my voice whose son has been bewitched Today, I speak their deliverance. Somebody enters a young man's life, cut off the young man from his father, cut off the young man from his brother, cut off the young man from his sister, cut off the young man from his cousins, cut off the young man from everybody. There's nobody who is a relative of that young man around. And you tell that's love? That's bewitchment. You are married to a lady. She cannot talk to her brothers. She cannot talk to her sisters. She cannot talk to her family. She cannot talk to anyone. You cut her off totally. That is slavery. That's not marriage. What are you afraid of? What are you worried about? Marital destinies, we are wasted. One of the things God is going to do today as we begin to pray, everyone that is due for marriage, everyone that is due for settle, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. Everyone due for marriage shall be married and everyone with a wrong partner, God shall disconnect you and give you a right partner. Even if it is, listen to this, even if it is a day to making a generational mistake, even if it's one hour left to making a generational mistake, let that plan scatter. 